Now, in order to prove the change of base thing, we're going to start out with this uh, log equation right here. The first thing we got to do is we got to write it in exponential form. So if you know how to read a log, this what? is what you would say. You would say, what power of b is x? Well, what power of b is x? Do you guys know? L. It's L. So that means if we were to write this in exponential form, we would say b to the power of L equals x. Because this says what power of b is x, and you know that the power is L. Another way to do this, uh, a cheap way to do this, a cheaper way to do it, I guess I should say. You take the b, you know that's the base, and you go b raised to the L power equals x. And you do this little arrow thing to help you remember it. But I think that's kind of lame. I don't like it. It's less mathematical. But anyways, it still works. Next, it says take the logarithm with a base a of each side. So that means we're going to do like we do with equations, and we're going to go log base a of one side. Then we're going to go log base a of the other side. So we're just essentially, I guess, almost looking like we're adding a log base a to both sides. But we're, it's not like we're adding it. We're actually taking the log base a of both sides. Next, do you guys know what we do with exponents that are inside of logs. Yes, they become coefficients. They can become coes. Why do they become coes? I don't want to lose you here. I know I talked about this yesterday, but some of y'all probably don't remember. So here you go. If you had log base five of uh, five raised to the third power, what would that equal? Three. It'd be equal to three. If you had three times log base five raised to the fifth power. Do you guys know what that would equal? Let's see, what power of five is five? It's one. So we're going this whole thing, which is a one times three, and that would equal three. So because they both equal three, we can say that log base five raised to the five thirds is the same as three times log base five of five. They're exactly the same. And a very, very, very cheap definition is just to say, if you have an exponent inside of a log, you can drop him like he's hot. He becomes the coefficient. So let's rewrite that over there with the L in front. We have L times log base A of B equals log base A of X. Now if we're trying to solve for the L, because that's what it says, what are we supposed to do? How can we get this L alone? Um, by my uh, judgment, Mr. Patey, you would uh, mult, uh, divide both sides by the log base A of B. Uh, very good, very intelligent student. Log base A of B would cancel these dudes out. And then over here you have log base A of B. And this is the final result. That means log base A of x divided by log base a of b can be um, written as log base b of x. So these two are the same thing. What is that a though? Can I just cancel stuff out? No, you can't because log is not a number. That is an operation. This isn't that common though. You know what's common? It's common to use base 10. So log base 10 of x divided by log base 10 of b. This is known as a common log natural or change of base uh, ratio. There it is. That's the common log. You can also do this with a base E. That would be natural log of X divided by natural log of B. Further explain this. If you guys had your quacks, your quackulators, I know that you guys know the answer to this. We'll do uh, 81. Do you guys know what power of 3 equals 81? Three. No, it's not 3, because 3 four. to the third power is 27. Four. Yes, it's 4. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, 4 times, equals 81. You guys know how you can do this now? You can say log of, which one number goes on top? 81. 81 divided by log of 3, and you should get 4. Try it. Punch in your calculator, see what you get. And after you do that one, try natural log of 81 divided by natural log of three. It's pretty magical.
So these problems right here, they're asking you guys to rewrite the logarithm as a ratio of the common logs or natural logs. So I will do number two so you guys can see it and be confident. Okay, so here's the common logs. Log, log. A common log has a log base 10, but we don't have to write the 10 if we're writing the common log. Log of x divided by log of three. That's all you have to do. That's what A wanted you to do. That's it. Or you, or you can write it like this. Natural log of x divided by natural log of three. So these are the same right here. That's what this problem wants you to do.